What do you think the sentiment is like this year? I think that people are more optimistic than we could have thought. And uh, the, obviously the theme of the day and the uh, plat du jour is AI, but also uh, what will happen on uh, uh, the geopolitics, what is, is happening with uh, Kiev, what will happen with Gaza, what will happen in the, the U.S. election, U.S.-China issue. But mostly the, the thing which is the most striking is to see uh, a, f a sense of optimism which uh, I was not expecting to see so vividly. You mentioned AI. Your industry has been very quick to adopt the new technology. I remember a few years back you didn't attend Can Lines, a major industry event because you were repurposing money to digitise. Now as we look at the AI adoption that's taking place, that seems like a very wise decision. Tell us what you are seeing in terms of the trends and what jumps out to you about the significance of AI in 2024. AI will transform the world. We have to, to face it. It will be something which will be more transformational than the mobile phone. So if uh, you are very happy with your Galaxy phone from Samsung, uh, you will see that AI will really change the way you will uh, get information, you will be educated, you will work, your job will change every three or four years thanks to AI because you will be helped. Uh, so AI is something, it will change also R&D for healthcare, uh, which will be in every segment of the society, of the economy, including of the politics, including when it comes to uh, the mafia and all the aspects that we don't like. But clearly, uh, uh, AI with ransomware and uh, a new kind of... Uh, uh, robbery uh, will greatly help uh, those uh, clever robbers. So AI will be every, every, everywhere. And we have to adapt to it, we have to adopt it, and we have to be trained how to use it. We don't need to become specialists on AI. We need to become a specialist in using AI, which is uh, accessible to almost everyone. So it's not something that we should be afraid of, even if there will be a few years where uh, the adaptation of AI may create some job destruction. But all in all, AI will be a good thing for humanity. Let me push on to the macroeconomic environment. This year looks like we're setting up for some interest rate cuts and possibly a soft landing, and that is sort of the best case scenario being debated. But what are you witnessing on the ad market specifically? Because it feels as though everybody's turned a little bit more cautious. They're worried about the consumer trading down and not spending as much as they've done in previous years. So, so what are you seeing in terms of patterns of consumption and advertising spending? Hey. It's much better to predict the past than to predict the future. Uh, and um, it, it's clear that we were expecting a tougher year than what happened. Uh, and there is a slowdown on inflation and a reduction on interest rate. Uh, and Europe is catching up progressively. So we see that the level of confidence of the consumer is raising a little bit. It's not yet there. And I think it will take a, a, a few months. So I do expect that the second half of the year will be much uh, uh, better than the first with an acceleration in growth. But uh, it is still a year of transition and we should not expect to go back to uh, the high numbers that we have seen uh, before the pandemic of growth.